Hey guys, I just caught my first toad of the year. It's a little one, I'm so excited. Hi little guy. I'll let you go in a second. You're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. See how little he is? You wanna go off the path, little guy? Alrighty, have a nice, safe, happy life. I love toads. Oh, look at the little wood frog. We've been seeing several green frogs today. This one's a really small green frog. How you doing, little buddy? These are tent caterpillars. They are not good for the trees that eat all the leaves. Oh my goodness, I just looked over to my right. Let me show you guys what I'm seeing. Oh boy, look at those guys. Here is a cricket. At first I thought it was dead, but then when I picked it up, it just hopped right out of my hand. I'm not sure what species of ants these are, but they have a lot of red in them. And they're very, very busy. Those are toads. Yay! This is pink lady slipper. This is the first one that I've seen leafing out. Pretty soon we'll be seeing these beautiful orchids blooming. I just walked up the trail like 20 feet and I found one that has a bud. Awesome! And another one. This is so exciting. I absolutely love lady slippers. Yay! This is my first jack in the pulpit of the year. I love them. How awesome is that? Really a cool flower. Oh wow, I just found another jack in the pulpit and this one's much bigger than the first one I found earlier on this walk. It is such a cool, fascinating plant. Look at the size of these leaves. My first star flowers of the year. Another cute little flower. This plant is fall Solomon seal. It's really close to blooming. The flower is underneath. It droops down like that. It's a, usually a whitish, sometimes a creamy color, whitish green. Can you hear those oven birds? Oh, I love them. This is false hellebore. It's mixed in with some skunk cabbage. So that's the first false hellebore I'm seeing this year. This is marsh marigold. It's not blooming yet. It has a beautiful yellow flower. And this was the first plant that I did for my Wildflower 101 series last year. This is jewelweed. It's not blooming yet. It's another pretty yellow orange flower. The hummingbirds love it. And it's a really important food source for the hummingbirds come autumn. It'll be the last blooming flower that's available to them before they migrate away. The very sweet and delicate Canada Mayflower. You can find this all over the forest woodland floors. Here's a good example of the Canada Mayflower in this section of the woods. Look at all the bluets. Oh, I love them. They're all up and down this whole path. Hello, sweet bluets. Boy, it's getting hard to hold the camera steady now with mosquitoes landing all over my fingers. Oh my gosh, those oven birds, I just love them. Look at these really tiny orange mushrooms. They're in a swampy area. I'll have to see if I can look that up in my book. Chris pulled one of these mushrooms out of the water. You know, saying it looks like a matchstick. I never noticed this little rock. Chris says it's been here for a really, really long time. It's kind of cute because this little bridge is not the most stable, but it's safe enough to get across. Here is ground cedar. It's a lycopodium. You will find this all over the woodland forest floors. I like its flat leaves. A flowering dogwood. I'm underneath the high tension wires. I'm not sure if you guys can hear 
a little bit of electrical sound. Here's one of my favorite plants. This is sweet fern. If you pick a leaf and roll it and give it a sniff, it has the most wonderful, wonderful aroma. This is yellow rocket. You'll find this plant on the edge of fields, waste areas, along the road. You might see it in the middle of the highway, the medium strip. So there's its leaves. Here's a really tiny milkweed plant. There's just two here I see starting to pop up. It's a very important food source for the monarch butterflies. They'll lay their eggs here for the caterpillars and then they will hatch and the caterpillars will eat the leaves and then eventually they'll turn into a beautiful monarch butterfly. This plant is a bed straw, possibly a hedge bed straw. It's not blooming yet, but there's a lot out here in this field. This is Autumn's Olive. It has a wonderful aroma. However, this plant is very invasive. I'm right by the road, so sorry about the traffic. But an easy way to identify it is by turning the leaves over and they have a silverish hue to it. There's a lot here. 